So today I'm going to be talking about do's and don'ts for your upcoming photo shoot with Katie. Please make sure before you even continue watching this to press that subscribe button down below. So today I'm going to be talking to you guys about do's and don'ts for your photo shoot. So stay tuned. You want to plan ahead. So something that I really recommend is being prepared and planning prior to your shoot. So when I say plan ahead, I mean you want to plan ahead in regards to spending time thinking about the energy that you want in your photos. What type of energy supports your brand? How do people... How do you want to let people know the value and what you offer? So just think about those things and also keep in mind that your photos are an impression. So make sure that your impression is aligned with the, per with the person that you are. Make sure your impression is aligned with what you're representing and what your brand represents. And um, keeping those things in mind and making sure you take your time during this process because you don't want to be unprepared and thrown while you're shooting because you don't have a clear vision of that. Collaborate and don't be intimidated. I feel like sometimes um, people in general who don't really shoot or if you're shooting for whatever reasons, sometimes there's a bit of an intimidation factor because it is a photographer, but remember that you have control as well. And remember to collaborate with your photographer. Share your vision, share with us what you wanna achieve, what you're looking for, um, discussing the outcome, because that'll give us a clear idea to convey what you want to achieve and working this way will result in the best photos. Don't just view us photographers as just snapping pictures, no. Think of us as a partner with your business and a partner with your vision. So yes, this is your shoot because you paid for it, but this is our shoot because we're here for you. So don't be afraid to communicate, don't be afraid to speak up, even during the shoot if you want to even uh, if you have an idea to throw in there, just communicate with us. But remember that we're in collaboration with you, so we're partners in this. So just keep that in mind. Now, I know a lot of times that sometimes clients, they'll pay the photographer and then they'll wait until the day of the shoot to kind of prep for everything. I'm all about preparation and planning ahead. So definitely make sure that you discuss your vision with the photographer. Send us pictures, send us uh, necklines, send us colors, send us patterns. Um, a lot of the times when my clients reach out to me, the first thing I tell them is send me inspiration. Any pictures that you see online, on the internet, because sometimes if we see an image and you have an idea, we can add on things so that they, you probably weren't even thinking. So that's why that goes back to collaborating. And just keep in mind that the more clarity and understanding that you have of the outcome that you want, then the more likely your vision will actually come to life as planned. We can help you narrow down look. So when you discuss your vision, you send over these clothes, colors, patterns, or anything that you want to send over, even picks for inspiration. We can help you narrow down what's flattering, what looks best on you, um, even to throw in what, what you can bring in addition. Do not, I repeat, do not arrive to your shoot with one set of clothing. Oh no, no. You want variety. You want to be able to bring 10 outfits and so what if you only use two? So what if you only use one? So what if you only use three? The fact that you have this variety, the fact that you have options, it's going to cause less stress and you're going to be satisfied with the results because what if you, like I said, you have an idea that sparks or even a photographer might see a piece from something that he or she may have that goes with your shoot. Think of these things. So make sure do not bring just one set of clothes. So don't just be like, oh, you know, okay, I have this one outfit. This is going to do. No, bring more than one set of clothing, even, even if you bring two outfits. It's okay, just bring more than one set of clothes. So make sure you go through your entire closet, not your entire closet, but go through your closet and go through your wardrobe. It's okay to bring more than one set of clothes. So make sure that you go through your closet, go through your wardrobe, and we'll consult with you or, or consult with the photographer that you booked to any suggestions on what to bring in addition to what you already have. Now this is for anyone who wears glasses or anyone who's considering to wear glasses for their shoot. Keep in mind that there's gonna be a lot of lighting equipment, so there's going to be a glare, being that you have glasses on and those are glasses in your lens. So if you are considering wearing glasses, 
for your shoe. Make sure to bring at least contacts if you can. If you do wear glasses because they are prescribed, that's okay because there is an option for that. You can actually borrow a lens less pair for your frames from your optometrist. And what this will do is basically instead of like regular um, glasses where the light will kind of create a glare where your eyes are invisible, this will not interfere with that. So keep these things in mind because your eyes are everything in the picture. Also, another great tip, if you are finished your photo shoot early, you paid the photographer, so take that extra time to take photos for something else. For example, if you're a singer and you're shooting for your album cover art, say if you want pictures for your social media, say if you want pictures for um, your website or for your branding or for your clothing, you can take one of your outfits that you wore outside of that shoot um, for your album cover, if that was the case, and you can take additional pictures for other uses. You paid us, you paid the photographer, so take complete advantage of this and communicate, that's okay. This is your shoot, so don't forget that you two are in control. This tip does not only apply to females, this applies to you guys as well. Make sure that you consider coming to your shoot prepared, hair and makeup ready. Yes, for guys too as well. I remember I had a client, um, he was a male and he was shooting for headshots and he had really oily skin so i just so happened to have i think it was like um a shine free powder and he kind of freaked out like this is not but for guys of course you use very subtle and very little uh makeup and when i say makeup i mean like say if you have a dark spot and there's a makeup artist on set and we have a bit of concealer that matches or like i mentioned um with the client that i shot with before i ended up using a shine free control um powder on his face and he was just astonished at how the outcome came out because he, being that he's a guy, he was freaked out. Like, I don't wear makeup. Like, uh, and I was just like, trust me, just a little bit of touch up. For ladies, make sure that if you don't have a photo shoot where a makeup artist is on set, bring your full makeup bag. During the day, you might want to change your lip color for a certain look. You might want to touch up on your face, being that there's so much lights and sometimes, you know, we tend to sweat or make sure you bring your makeup bag make sure you come hair ready be prepared if you don't have these things at your shoot already now these two last do's and don'ts i would say is probably the most important for me some people don't think about these things but for me this is so important especially someone who has been in front of and behind the lens set an intention so when i say set an intention i want you to do this maybe a week before your shoot or the seven days that's leading up to your shoot or the five, three days that's leading up to your shoot. Set an intention. When I mean by setting an intention, what do you visualize your shoot to be? What's the outcome of your photos? What experience do you wanna have while shooting? How are you gonna act? Visualize and see how amazing your shoot is gonna be. Visualize how confident you're gonna be in front of the lens. Visualize how comfortable you're gonna be. Visualize how awesome and how fun and how great you and this photographer collaborated during your shoot. Think about how you're gonna be booking the next shoot because the pictures that you did for your shoot blew up for your brand because they were so awesome. Think about these things and set that intention and create what type of energy, what type of feeling, what type of outcome you want for your shoot before you shoot. I think for me, setting an intention is really important, but this one is so important. Do not, and I repeat, do not allow anyone or anything to interfere with your intention the day of your shoot. Now, let me elaborate. For example, I remember this is like probably Two years ago, I ended up arguing with like a best friend, I think it was, and this was like literally the morning of my shoot. So I had my intention of how I wanted my shoot to be. That morning, me and my best friend got into an argument and the energy that I had and the fact that I was upset, it conveyed in my pictures and I felt like it was a waste of shoot. I allowed someone else or something else to interfere with that. So just keep these things in mind and make sure to protect yourself from this because this is something that you invested in. This is something that you're not gonna be able to turn back in time and redo this shoot over. You're gonna have to pay money out of pocket. And if this is the case, that's okay. Just remember to breathe, make sure to relax, center yourself, and just make sure that you remember your intention and you're gonna do freaking awesome for your next shoots. Yes, okay, yes. I'm already claiming it for you. Thank you so much, Ruby Kitties, for joining me again on my channel. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Please consider everything that I said. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, hello. 
make sure that you hit that subscribe button and please like comment being that this is vlogmas i have so many ideas and tips that i'm going to share with you guys but please feel free comment below what you want my videos to be what do you have issues with what do you struggle with in front of the camera or behind the camera i'm here gotcha just subscribe thank you guys again and i'll see you guys tomorrow in my next video bye